Welcome to AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Michael Crandell, CEO of RightScale. Welcome. Thank you, Jeff. It's great to be here. So let's start out by talking about the vision that led you to create RightScale. Well, we were born just around the time that Amazon Web Services was born, back in the days when it was EC2 and S3. And we were super excited about the prospect of infrastructure being offered in this pay-as-you-go, uh, virtually infinite, you know, outsourced manner. And so Torsten von Eichen, uh, one of my co-founders, and Rafael Saavedra, the other one, and I got excited and decided, let's build a management layer that lives on top of this stuff. Okay, that actually led me to my next question, which was what actually is RightScale and what does it do? So RightScale is a cloud management platform. And our goal is really to make it easy for companies to leverage and get the benefits out of infrastructure clouds like Amazon. Uh, we do that in three different ways. The first is we help companies architect and design uh, applications that are, say, appropriate for cloud environments. The, the second part is that the platform provides a lot of automation of the operations of those apps across servers and services, different services, uh, whether it's a handful or up to tens of thousands. And the third piece is around governance and control. Okay. In the, the really early days, it seemed that a common use case for, for your company and for your services was that somebody would be just about to launch and they suddenly would have panicked and said, my gosh, we, we're about to scale some crazy amount and we need to actually manage and control everything. But it was a somewhat panic situation from what I understand. Is that still the case or have things matured a bit? So that's right. In those early days, there would be things like we're going on 60 Minutes or the Today Show or, or Oprah and we're expecting a flash crowd. And that's certainly one of the benefits of the cloud. But what's happened to us uh, in the intervening years is much more of a focus on larger customers, enterprise customers, or just larger, more complex applications and helping companies really leverage cloud throughout their organization. Sure. Now, if a, if a company is thinking about working with RightScale, what's the best way for them to engage and get started to make, make the best use of, of the, the, the service and of the, the skills that you guys have? So we have a free edition of RightScale, so you can try the best and, and greatest of what RightScale is at no charge, kind of similar to the free offering that you guys have at AWS. Uh, and you can engage with us to actually dive into what is your application, how is it architected, is it properly designed for a cloud environment, or might you need to make some tweaks. And in that sense, up front, we provide some, I guess, trusted expertise that you can leverage uh, when you're considering moving to a cloud environment. So you also recently acquired planforcloud.com. So tell me a bit about what they do and what your thinking was when you did that acquisition. Plan for Cloud is a cloud forecasting tool. And we discovered over time that one of the concern areas that we had already addressed was kind of looking in the rear view mirror around cloud consumption and allowing companies to do chargeback or showback, so to speak, of what's already been spent and some budgeting for the future uh, in a limited way. And we saw a plan for cloud and thought, we need to add that to right scale as a tool to let companies uh, begin to look at different scenarios if they, uh, if they can forecast what might I spend if I bring this kind of application or workload to the cloud in the future, and what might it look like across different spend uh, models. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to come by today and wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for coming by. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.